What do you make of players apologising to to managers after the, the manager's been too sacked? Little, too little, too late. Mm. Did any players ever apologise to you or anything? No, not too, did you? <laughs> what did you, what did you yeah, say? Yeah, response, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... It. Listen, these are always awkward interviews <laughs> yes. for players and... Yeah, but uh, no, I, I, I wouldn't have much time and patience for, for a player to say, listen, sorry, we've let you down. Too little, too late. You know, you're, you're judged what you don't on the football pitch. And I don't think Bruno had done enough in a lot of the games where he, I didn't, he didn't show that leadership. So um, it'd be interesting to hear what, obviously, Ten Hag has to say about it. But you also have to move on. Listen, players, a lot of players don't care that much when a manager goes to just focus on the next manager coming in. They get ready and they look after themselves. Of course, that's... As part of the game, players can be selfish, we know that. But I don't think Bruno had done enough as a captain of Man United over the last year or two to help the manager out. Far from it, the proof's there with the, all the results. Not just onto Bruno, of course, but I don't think he showed enough leadership skills and the goings got tough with some of the performances. And um, I don't think Bruno should be too proud of himself of what's happened to the Man United manager over the last week or two with Dan Hag. I think he's, I said it earlier, I think the players let the manager down, ultimately. But... That's football and that's life. You have to move on and, um, and get ready for a new manager. And, Frank, similarly, you've been on both sides of that with changes of, of manager as, as a player and then as a manager yourself. Yeah, and um, as a player, you have to get on with it. And um, that's why those interviews are hard. You almost don't really want to listen to it. I don't think it means too much. I think players will still say the similar thing. They'll know in their own... Well, they should know within themselves whether they gave everything, etc. So I think that's sort of old news now. As a manager, it's a tough one because as a manager and you leave a job... You might have reflections where you go, I wish you'd shown that passion wherever before. So I just think the important thing for Manchester United, now looking at this, the size of this football club, is that all the players now get together and they, they actively show a response for the new manager. When he comes in and he tells them this is where we, the way we're going, go with it and follow all his idea and stay on top of yourself and on your game and no excuses and work together. That's what this football team needs to do now because I'm watching that today and I think, how good are these players? How good is the strap? What is it? Is it, is it the, the idea that they've been told for the last two years that's left them like this or is it them? It's just a big question, so they've got to answer it as a group. Yeah, we've all played on the managers. I've played on the managers, which I've played on some great managers, but i played on the managers who I didn't particularly like, let me tell you. But it wouldn't stop me for one second not going out and doing my best for the team. Absolutely not. And I was the same with the lads I, I, I played with. I was very lucky. I was in some good dressing rooms. But this idea, when, when a manager goes and players are saying, oh, well, maybe we could have done more, maybe we, we we're sorry for that. I, uh, to me, that's hard to, that's, that's hard to listen it's to. It's one thing not to like, right? And then it's one thing to actually not really to act. And do it. You go out and you play. You, if you, the idea of making an excuse about the manager, oh, it's his fault, the way he set us up. Look at what they're doing down the road, the way that they play. No. Deal with what's in front of you, lads, mm. and go out and show it now. That's not even about liking the manager. People say it, it always helps if you like or respect the manager, but even if you don't, I think the bottom line, it goes back to it. Whatever you're, the way you're brought up or when you play football as a young kid, your own DNA suggests that you're a good team player. That's why you play football. You're part of a team. You're not playing an individual sport. So when the going gets tough, you roll your sleeves up. You become a team player. And I, I'm not saying for one second it's about playing well every week. Far from it. But you roll your sleeves off, you become a team, you dig in, you grind out results, you win an ugly game. But this United team doesn't do it. And that's why we... Obviously, I'm, 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 I'm very critical of them. But I'd love to sit there every week and watch Man United turn up and win 2 or 3 and you'd be listen, absolutely amazing. Last, last year or two, you give them a little bit of praise when they're doing well in the Cups. But Man United, we can't go back to Man United of the 80s where they're a Cup team. Man, the, the reason you sign and you play for Man United is that you turn up week in, week out, and you're consistent. That's, that's the key to it. There's no point in saying, I'll turn up in a week or two, after the manager gets sacked, I'll play for the new manager, there's a new system. There's n no, forget that stuff. You still have to go and train with your teammates every day. So when you look at your teammates in the eye every Monday morning or when you're training or in a game with the 20 minutes to go and you're on your knees and your hamstrings at you and you're under pressure going, let's dig in, let's show what we're about. And if that is a Man United or Chelsea or Spurs or whoever you're playing for, you dig deep. That, that, that's your foundation of your career. You're going to be talented, you can be skillful, and if you win trophies, fantastic, it's a bonus. But ultimately, you're on a team in a dressing room with players who you're going, I'm in the trenches with these lads, let's go for it. I wouldn't want to be in the trenches with them players. I just wouldn't want to be. I don't see it. Do I know all these personally? Absolutely not. But I know it. my eyes don't lie to me. I see these players today, even to go one and up today, you're thinking, are they going to see this game out? No. It's a set piece. They're not a poor header. People not getting out to people. One one, and then you have to hear a chat after the game. Oh, but lucky the manager's left. Hey, new manager's coming. Hey, great. Uh, happy days. No far from it. You left a manager down there last week. And it's not about it's not about liking managers, because people are quick to throw at me, going, Oh, I fell out with managers. But I tell you when I don't on the pitch, I didn't want to let them down, even if I despised them. 
And that's got to come down to your your DNA. And these players haven't got the DNA, a lot of them, of a Man United player, in my eyes.